the book Vagina, a new biography, is a cultural history of the vagina. Um, so it looks at why historically in most cultures women's sexuality has been targeted and demeaned and belittled. Um, but it also looks at some very uh, amazing neuroscience, uh, new discoveries about female sexuality in the last 20 or 30 years that really kind of um, make everything we thought we knew about female sexuality obsolete. And when you look at that new science, you see that, in fact, the, well, it explains a lot of mysteries about the female condition and women's sort of collective mood. But it turns out that um, the, the brain chemicals, the neurotransmitters that are released when women are in cultures that support them in knowing about sexual pleasure uh, also boost female confidence, female assertiveness, female focus, a sense of meaning. And to me this is a, a huge insight because it explains um, why female sexuality has been targeted for 5,000 years, that uh, pleasure makes women difficult to control and subjugate. Um, so that, that is some of what the book is about. You, you, can, you can't say that the only reason female sexuality has been targeted and ridiculed is this amazing new data about how dopamine especially, which is boosted when women anticipate sexual pleasure, um, also boosts female confidence and sense of trust in their own judgment. Um, but I think it's a very, very, very important finding. And it, it, let's flip it around, okay? 100,000 women a year um, are infibulated or suffer genital mutilation globally.